Is it the strength, speed, timing, stance, movement, fist, the alignment of the arm, some superhero power? What makes a punch pop? What makes a punch snap? People ask that all the time. They think that you have to be a professional boxer or someone with a ton of experience to actually make a bag pop or snap practically every time you hit it. In fact, you just really need to know these basic five things. What makes a punch pop? What makes a punch snap? People ask that all the time. They think that you have to be a professional boxer or someone with a ton of experience to actually make the bag pop or snap practically every time you hit it. In fact, you just really need to know these basic five things. Without these things, you're likely going to be injuring yourself over hitting, over punching, hitting the bag too hard, being stiff, tight, and so forth. And it's very important that you know how to do this. You really need to learn how to throw a punch. Now, I will caution you, uh, do not go wailing off on this bag or throwing sluggers on this bag because that takes time and takes experience. Some people feel as though pushing through a bag actually gives them more power. Some people feel the actual pop is the push, is the pop. So today we're gonna to discuss what it really is. First thing you're gonna to have to look into is developing a proper fist. I mean, the idea of being able to put your hand into a proper fist. I mean, if you can't really ball a fist, a real fist, then you're really, right off the bat, you're gonna be losing a great deal of pop or snap, uh, and you're gonna hurt yourself. And you don't wanna rely on your glove to make a slapping sound. Uh, you wanna rely on penetration to the bag. First thing is you wanna make sure that when you uh, create a fist. You want to ball your fingers all the way up uh, and hide your fingernails. And then you want to take your thumb and you want to place your thumb right there. Okay. Uh, that's what it's going to look like. And you're going to aim with the first two knuckles. You probably have heard that before, but generally speaking, you're aiming with the first two knuckles. And at some point, the all four will make contact. Uh, but for the most part, uh, the power is going to run directly through from your shoulder all the way through your arm to the first two knuckles. It's going to turn them slightly downward, which is going to give you a very straight arm position. And you can see here that if I'm here, uh, when I hit the bag, that pressure is going to push my wrist this way. You get all kinds of tweaks and issues uh, all throughout the arm when you hit that way. So it's very important that you are uh, aligning your your hand, your wrist, and your arm as one. This should be one. And I, later I'm gonna show you how to strengthen that and how to create power. Uh, and the rate at which the hand is moving when it makes contact to the bag is very important because some people uh, smother their punches and before they can really get the punch going, the punch is already hitting the bag. You can't, you know, Bruce Lee could generate a lot of power in, in a one inch punch, but you know, for a boxer, this is what it would look like. When I'm talking about speed and talking about the rate at which your hand is moving when it makes contact to the bag, quick contact to the bag, not pushing through the bag, punch is actually bouncing off. You're hitting the bag and you're pushing through the bag. You're not gonna get that bounce back. And that bounce back enables you to be ready for that next punch. And it's, it's the source of the snap. It's the source of the pop that you're hearing. Uh, that's why pushers in general don't have pop on the bag. They have thunks and, and you hear thunking going on and big thunks and boosh, boosh, but no pop. You're gonna have to have combinations. You're gonna have to move. And once you make contact, you're still pushing into the bag. So your hand's not on the way back. You're not in a position really to move. So pushing does limit a great deal of your agility, of your ability to stick and move and not be hit and to score. Uh, to get your punches off because you need multiple punches. I mean, let's call it what it is. A jab is really setting up another punch. So if you push through a jab, you're not really setting up the other punch. You can't really effectively leave until the other one's back if you do it correctly. So very important being able to snap and pop. Okay, now when I talk about force and strength behind the punch, now obviously that opens us up to a whole nother conversation, which is part two. I will go over how to actually increase your force and to boost your strength. Uh, don't let anyone tell you just strengthening a muscle will do it. Because if that were the case, guys, you know, professional boxers would be sitting around all day doing barbell curls, but that's not really how it works because that's just one muscle out of like 50. One key to making a bag pop is finishing the punch. And to finish a punch, you must rotate the punch. When someone actually rotates a punch properly, uh, they're gonna turn that fist down and it's, it's like the thumb is pointed downward. You see that? So from up to down, if I were holding a cup, and when I turn the cup over and pour the water out, that when you focus on these two knuckles and you're pop, putting it right there, put them right there. So if you were to slow this down, you would see that I'm 
turning them over every time. They're just, let's go. There's a lot of things that people don't understand, such as the concept of uh, the fist being a rock and the arm being strength. The arm is actually really relaxed in the motion of uh, throwing a punch. And when you connect to the bag, it only engages or stabilizes or locks in for a fraction of a second, then it's relaxed again because the rock remains very firm on contact, but it's even relaxed while you're throwing. So you're throwing Every, while relax, so everything is fluid like water, like Bruce Lee said. So you, it's fluid like water, it crashes in an instant, which is what makes the explosion, it makes the pop. The hip, right? That's pushing the back. That's pushing the back. It's a late hip. You need that hip to pop and stop. Pop and stop at the moment that you're actually making contact. Okay. It's gonna go straight, might be slightly open this way for the most part. If you have, if you're gonna throw another punch, if you're sitting down in that punch and you're expecting that to be the last one, you might rotate all, go all the way through it. But for the most part, you need to be prepared to throw more. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. This is Coach E. Know that I'll be dropping videos all throughout the week, generally two to three videos every week. And click the bell to get the notifications to make sure that you don't miss a video because I'll be breaking this thing down for beginners to the advanced.